Hello and welcome to The Natural, and today I'm going to be doing Ding Dong Ditching Stories. If you don't know what that is, it's where you knock on someone's door, and you run, and you hide. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So anyway, um, yeah, I never suggest doing Ding Dong Ditching. I should never have done it, and I do not condone doing it. I don't really, I don't do it anymore, in fact. But anyway, this is when I did do it. So my cousin, me, my brother and my other cousin were there. My other cousin just like was standing in a little bush tree that we have in our front yard. While my other cousin's like, come on, let's knock. And you never knock in the middle of the day. This was the like two in the afternoon. So I'm like, okay, just knock on that house. They never answered. They've never answered. We've knocked our house a million times. It's like right across the street. So we knocked on the house and right as he knocked, they looked out the window. They started screaming some stuff. So we ran straight up, bolted in our tree and we all just stood there. Then my cousin, who's about younger than us a little bit, just walked outside and I'm like, don't get over here, get over here. And so apparently, I don't even know what the neighbors are screaming about. So I just, so I just like, we waited. And then I walked out of the bush and the neighbors started screaming something. So I was just like, um, I can't hear you. I'm going by and I just walked inside. I heard police sirens, so I was like scared, but no, no one came. <clears throat> So here's a, a, the other story that I got caught. So um, me, someone used to be my friend and his little brother, we were um, like knocked on this one house. This was in the middle of the day also. So as we knocked on his house, he came out and as we were hiding. So I thought I heard one of them say, okay, he's gone, you can go out now. So I just went and just walked out. And then the man just looked at me and he's like, what are you doing, you stupid little kid? I just said, uh, I'm going home. And he's like, did you do this? I'm like, no, some two kids over there just ran past. And he just said something, mumbled something. I think he went inside. And I just walked towards my house. I should, really shouldn't have done that. If you ever get caught, don't walk towards your house. That's just something stupid to do. Walk away from your house that they won't know you live. So, okay, I'm trying to think of another story to tell. I have a lot of these stories. None of them really answer. No one around here answers. Hmm. So. I don't know. Oh, yes. I just remembered my best story yet. This is a scary story I tell everyone. And I call the story The Walker. Because what the man did. So it was. It was me, my brother, and my brother's friend, and, and my cousin. This is the exact same cousin that was 14 in the other story. I was about seven at this time. They all chose me to knock on the store. So I knocked on it, and I hid with my brother's friend. We were hiding, hiding at this car that was kind of close to the house. Not really. And then my brother hid, and my cousin hid at a house that was further away. Hid at a car that was further away. So then my cousin, and my brother started walking out in the distance, like just walking the road, like way about it, knocking into the house. So I was like, okay. And so I started going over there too, whenever uh, my brother's friend also did. So we were like, okay, this is all fun. And then apparently my brother's friend heard a random grown man scream, you fucking little kids. And then we all turned around and all we saw was a grown man standing in the middle of the road, no shirt, just walking at us. He wasn't running. He was not going fast at all. He was Freddy Krueger walking. And so we ran. I was the youngest of the group, being aka the slowest, I think, I don't know. This was a long time ago. So anyway, I ran. We had to book it to a neighbor's yard, took another lap so that he didn't know our house was. And then we ran straight to our house. Apparently my brother saw his car running, driving around the road. These aren't the only stories that I have about doing stupid stuff. But if you like these stories, then please do hit that like button, subscribe. And if this gets 15 likes, I will do a prank call stories videos. Anyway, bye guys. Have a wonderful day. Please do like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Adios.